don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? This is the Big K Cop 360 here, and the hype train is winding up. It's starting to pick up some speed because AMD has released some more information in relation to the upcoming Zen chip. Now, of course, over the past 24 hours or so, they had to run a little event. Uh, where they showcased uh, the upcoming 8-core, 16-thread Zen CPU. Now, the interesting thing about this event was that they compared it directly with Intel's top-of-the-line Broadwell E CPUs. Now, of course, in particular, they did a little CPU benchmark in Blender where they essentially rendered out the graphic. Now, what they did was they got an i7 6900K. Yes, 6900K thousand dollar cpu they got that and they compared it against their own zen 8 core 16 thread chip of course both cpus are 8 cores both threads are 16 threads and they essentially down clocked uh the i7 the 6900k to 3 gigahertz to match the engineering sample or whatever uh zen chip they already had there and they ran this benchmark and amazingly enough the amd chip actually won now, of course, you might, you guys are obviously going to go and say, well, look, Cobbs, um, the Intel chip was downclocked. Well, yes, that's true. But the entire point of this was to show that AMD has made very, very substantial increases or improvements in IPC, instructions per cycle, instructions per clock, whatever the hell you want to call it. Now, this essentially means that, well, the Zen chip at the moment, or Zen as an entire microarchitecture, has a better IPC than Broadwell E. Now, of course, this is kind of one benchmark, and it's one like one blender rendering graphic benchmark. So we can't really jump to that conclusion just yet. But at least at this point, AMD is claiming that look, our IPC is pretty damn good, and it's better than Intel at this point. So yeah, once again, guys, once again, like this is coming from AMD. Like, you always take stuff like this, not with a grain of salt. Like, obviously, um, I don't think they would go out and, like, lie badly. I mean, they show that then on screen. But, of course, you've always got to be skeptical. You always need to wait for third-party reviews and whatnot. Other benchmarks. Like, this could just be the one occasion where AMD has better IPC. But, like, regardless, it's looking really, really good. For AMD and Blender... Uh, to have a better uh, performance or better IPC than an Intel latest, latest man, top of the line, latest released not long ago. You guys know the 6900K released just a few months ago. For AMD to be that competitive with it, I, like I'm honestly shocked. Like this is actually some really good stuff because let's be honest, guys. AMD over the past four years hasn't really done anything in the high performance CPU market. So, like, I was, wasn't was really expecting this level of performance. Well, if that's what we're going to get, then hell fucking yeah. This is some really, really good stuff. So, once again, let me recap. The 6900K was down clock to 3 gigahertz. Uh, just to show a raw core versus core, clock versus clock uh, comparison between the two chips. And, of course, the Zen chip did come out on top. I will link in the description the video itself if I remember to link it. If not, just comment and I'll link it to you Whatever, it's not really an issue. Now, of course, what else is happening with Zen? Well, apparently it's actually launching in 2017 now. Um, there was talk that we'd be getting some, like, a few chips in late 2016. I'm not really sure if that's still going to happen. I'm kind of looking towards that 2017 launch window. But regardless, I, like, don't care. Like, as long as AMD gives us something good and reasonably priced, then, like, who really cares? They'll make their money back. And hopefully they don't go out of business i really doubt that's going to happen now because zen's looking pretty good um the am the gpu is looking pretty good there's a lot of hype for vega amd is starting to pick themselves back up and it's really good to see nvidia's got some competition again and my boys at intel have some competition again it's really good stuff king amd man hopefully they deliver like once again don't jump at the hype train just yet but like be happy or like be kind of hyped a little bit pumped because right now they're looking pretty damn good. Now, um, look, guys, pretty much comment down below what you think. Tell me what you think about this. Is AMD really on the rise? Are they really coming back? Are they really coming to challenge Intel once again in the high performance CPU market? Because if they are, oh, this is going to be very, very good. Now, there isn't really a lot of talk on the six core uh, variants and the four core variants. They're kind of a little more quiet, but. As I said before, or as I said in a few videos um, before this, 
the bigger eight core chips are coming first and then the six cores and then the four cores etc 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 so pretty much guys look thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed and man zen a lot of hype a lot of potential and a lot of promise and hopefully it delivers laters guys